People from Connecticut whose family members have recently been killed in Gaza are calling for state congressional leaders to advocate for a ceasefire. Now, they joined members of the Connecticut chapter of the Council on uh, American Islamic Relations outside Senator Chris Murphy's office earlier today. Fox 61's Jake Garcia joins us live in Hartford with more on their message. Jake. Well, Brent and Sarah, uh, two Connecticut residents met with Senator Chris Murphy today after recently losing family members from Israeli military operations in Gaza. Uh, now, Rawan Shahada lost 10 family members uh, this past weekend when Israeli military tankers surrounded a maternity hospital in the central Gaza Strip. Two of her family members were doctors at that hospital. Her other relatives, who range in age from 13 to 53, were seeking shelter inside the hospital that also contained apartments uh, when the bombing occurred. Now, now, the president of the Farmington Valley American Muslim Center in Avon says he has lost more than a dozen family members and says something has to change. There is no safe haven in the Gaza Strip. No, not for children, not for women, not for civilians. This insanity has to stop. People of reason has to have to step in. Our politicians, our president. What Israel is doing now is not solving the problem. It is making it worse. Senator Chris Murphy released a statement saying he was grateful for the meeting today and will continue to meet with Jewish and Muslim constituents who are impacted. Senator Murphy has recently urged Israel to change its approach in fighting Hamas, saying civilian deaths are far too high, although he fears a ceasefire will give Hamas a chance to regroup and carry out further attacks in Israel. Uh, we'll hear more from the two Connecticut residents who've lost family members recently in Gaza tonight on the news at 10 and 11. Live in Hartford, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's News station. All right, Jake, thank you.